Zachary. Yes. Did we hit record? Okay, welcome back to Zachary Reality. We are here with Survivor legends, Sandra and Parvati. This is honestly a full circle moment for me because I have been watching Survivor since I was six years old. You were my first season. And with all due respect, you were my favorite player of all time. <laughs> which... <laughs> Um, there's such a debate. I, I mean, listen, I'm getting up right now. No, Sandra, no. <laughs> listen, there is such a debate who the queen of Survivor is. Technically speaking, Sandra did win over you. Do you still feel like she was the queen, or do you still want to argue for that title? No, we're done arguing for that title. There's just no answer. You're both the queens. Listen. Yeah, we're all, and there's so many other queens. And everyone can wear a headband and be a queen. Yeah. Or a well, crown. Yeah. <laughs> the queen stays queen. That's a good one, right? The Queens. Yeah, that's a really good one. My favorite like moment this season was, Lord, not Ek and Sue. Yeah. What did you think of Phaedra's dramatic reaction to that? It shocked me, honestly. I was like, wait, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> like, were you surprised that she was that mad? Yes, I was like, are you, uh, what's happening right now? Like, was this, is this a real moment? Um, but watching it on TV is so funny. Oh, it's funny. Oh, so dramatic. She's just perfect. But for this she said show. that about everything, everybody. Not my Bergalicious. I know. So it just depended on who it was. And then she. But with Ekin, too, because she could really go over the top because it was just me, her, and Dan. Yeah. She was like fanning herself. and yeah. Lord. Yeah. Not Ekin, Sue. Mm -hmm. Was um, that murder? Was it that hard? Like you literally could not get anyone to drink the chalice? Well, I had a few people in my mind, and I was. Were you ever oh, trying yes, to give it to me? I was never going to give it to you. Oh, thank God. Because I knew you. I, I was like, Sandra's not trying to banish me. And I don't know if she And Sandra doesn't her. drink like that. And Sandra was just having water. So I was like, there's no way I'm going to give it to Sandra. I wanted to keep you safe anyway. And, oh, man, it was just like we just murdered a bunch of guys. So I was like, okay, it's got to be a girl. But I don't know. I don't want to give it to Janelle or Trishel. And MJ wasn't going to drink it. And Sheree certainly wasn't going to drink it. It was just like, it's either Bergie, Peter, or Ek and Sue. And Lord, Ek not Ek and Sue. Ek and Sue and I had like a good rapport. So I was like, I knew I could play that little, like, I could play that social card. Yeah. My Lord, sweet baby Jesus. Not Ek and Sue. Lord, not Ek and Sue. Sandra, we were kind of talking upstairs. I was shocked as a viewer, as a longtime fan, to see the two of you really come together so immediately, instantly because of your rivalry. How was it like, did you guys talk like so quickly and just agree to be on the same page because it's better to go with the devil you know than the devil you don't? Yeah, it was instant. Uh, nothing was cut out of that clip. It happened really, really fast. And I just want to focus on the game. I didn't want to think about all the drama we had. I just wanted to really put everything I had into the game and try to get as far in as possible, you know, so I was I was done. Yeah. Did you ever think about recruiting Sandra instead of Peter? Obviously, we're going to see what plays out. But I mean, the two of you together as traitors would have been very powerful. I did. I thought about recruiting Sandra because I knew she would say yes. And I knew she'd be an excellent traitor. Excellent traitor. I would have been an awesome ass traitor. And you yeah. still might be. The show's not over yet. Yeah. True. So why didn't you? Why Peter? <laughs> because I really wanted to see Peter kill his friends. That was a good line. A good reason, yeah. <laughs> the blue blood traitor turn you against his friends. I want to kill Bergie. John the people Kelly. he loved. The like most faithful to. of the faithful. Yeah. How does the um, challenges compare on Survivor to the traitors? Oh, they're so much easier on traitors than Survivor. Except I found them to be hard. I got hurt. I never got hurt on Survivor. Well, luckily, you don't need to be good at challenges because your social game is so good. Thank you. But you need immunity because people were always trying to vote you out. Yeah, that's true. That, that's my favorite challenge, the arm one. Yeah, that was a long challenge. I mean, there's nothing like that in Traders. Traders is just sort of like, I felt like I could really kind of phone it in for those challenges. But some of them were creepy. Like, you haven't seen some creepy ones, but they're coming up. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think Parvati was a traitor, like in the beginning? In my notes, on the, the first couple of traitors that I thought Parvati was at the top, but like I keep saying, the minute I wasn't picked as a traitor, I was like, there's no way she's a traitor over me. So then I dismissed her. Well, what did you think? <laughs> yeah, what did you think about Dan picking you? Like, and because you, you weren't originally picked by Alan, like you were like recruited right away. Right. Yeah, I was really surprised that I got recruited. But then I was like, oh well, Larsa put a huge target on me at the round table. Mm -hmm. So that's smart of the traders to recruit me because I already have some suspicion on me. Yeah, fair enough. Um, can, well, how do you think, this is so awkward, but Russell, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to bring him up. How do you think he would do in traders? Or, or we do not like him? 
I think Russell would probably be banished or murdered right away. You want to see Tony play? Because I saw you post on him on Instagram. Over. Over. Like, who do you want to see from Survivor? And when I heard you upstairs, I was like, I want to see John Cochran play too. Well, well Tony, ca a... oh, Tony called me and told me he wanted to start a YouTube video, but he doesn't have followers. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, you got to get on Instagram. And he was like, I made one, but I only have one follower. And I was like, I'll post it for mm -hmm. you, Tony. Okay. But since he didn't follow me back, I deleted it. <laughs> okay. I'm dead. Um, what did you guys think of Ceri's gameplay last season? Did you oh, take any yeah. tips from that? Yeah, Ceri's amazing. She she is so good at these games where she can stay very under the radar. She's very likable. She makes people feel safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think she had a lot of suspicion on her. No, she never did. I can't play like that. People yeah. always or think I'm suspicious, even when I'm not. I'm worried for you. After last week's episode, I'm really worried for you. Yeah. So I am. <laughs> I'd be worried for her too. Oh. No. What was it? <laughs> also, I was thinking I was like, OG Parvati would have like flirted with Peter, flirted with all these guys. Like you've really evolved into like a new kind of game. So I was kind of wondering like how you've evolved in like playing these games now as a mother, now a lot older. Like you're not the same flirt you were on Survivor way back in the day. Yeah, flirting isn't really the top of my list with strategy anymore. Yeah. And I think it's important to evolve in those ways because I'm just, I am older, I am more mature, I do have a kid. People knew that I'm in a relationship in the castle, so I'm not going to come off and be a creepy skis. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been, um, sincere and i don't think it would have created any kind of good rapport with people yeah and that kind of game doesn't call for that mm -hmm. it's it's not that kind of game it doesn't nobody you could do it i like it to be clear like it could work as a strategy for sure like ek and sue could pull it off peter could pull it off bergy could pull it off like these little cuties that are running around the castle yeah. like definitely flirted up I'd be I'd be like, oh, my God, they're here for the wrong reasons. You know, like there's way too many faithfuls anyway. Let's go for the ones that are just sitting here flirting. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like The Bachelor. They're here for the wrong reason. Yeah, like I'm waiting for that line. <laughs> this is not The Bachelor. I don't have to kiss your ass for a rose. Oh, yeah. Another. God. How has your game evolved from traders? I feel like we're still seeing the anybody but me strategy a little bit that you've kind of coined in Survivor. Um, On the traders, I just simply wanted to be everyone's friend, whether it was a trader or a faithful. And like I said, it was 21, 22 people. So a lot of faithfuls have to fall anyway. So for me, it it wasn't imperative. It wasn't like, and I still feel like I had trader angels protecting me in Dan, Parvati, and Phaedra. Mm -hmm. So although I hear my name come up as options from time to time, I honestly believe that people were looking out for me. Yeah. Well, we had your back. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate that part. But see, what is the, what is the two more, two last questions? What is the fan reaction to seeing the two of you together? on traders it was just such a shock to see both of you on the cast like instantly oh people lost their minds in the beginning mother this mother that <laughs> queen the mother queen. island I queen stand. stays queen i stand like <laughs> it was fun i love it well i'm so excited to watch the rest of the season and i'm sure everyone is as well can you give us like one last tease on what we can expect from these final few episodes oh wait why you didn't ask us about janelle calling me a bitch oh fuck. <laughs> You're a traitor. You're a fucking traitor. Drink that water, bitch. <laughs> well, what what was it like when Janelle called you a bitch? I didn't hear that word. Yeah. I was so zoned out. I was so, I was like, what? We had your back. That, and I told Janelle, I was like, Janelle, I never heard the word bitch. I just heard, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck off, uh -huh. fuck yeah. off. Like, Wait, fuck what, off, fuck what off. is more intense, a tribal council or a round table at the traders? I think a round table a round is table more intense. Is intense. Because you're directly looking at the people you're accusing in the eye and you're facing them and there's no way to, where to hide. Yeah, you can say the most innocent thing and it'll get twisted around. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, do a, a simple motion and someone already saw traitor behavior or yeah. uh, just anything and you don't even realize it. So you can't say, well, I didn't, you know, if things will come up and you're like, what? I did that? Like, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about because. Yeah, the, the breathing was so funny with how they were accusing John of having asthma. Right. That was 
was so funny. Well, also, like, Jeff Probes isn't there to, like, direct the conversation. So, like, is it hard? Like, when do you know when to speak up at a round table? You, you know? They just wait for someone to start speaking. So it's silent and it intensifies the pressure. And usually somebody's ready. And then somebody yeah. goes, oh, I'll somebody's talk. Ready to pounce. Okay, well, you can't get out of that last question before I, I let you go. Me. The tease. I need a little, little tease on what we can expect from the final few episodes. Final two episodes. Final few. Like, maybe there's four oh. more, five more. We don't know. Last season, they binged it, so I'm just waiting. Oh, yeah, they dropped the whole season last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what can we expect? More banishments and more murders maybe and harder, harder missions and more injuries. Maybe some tears. You're going to come for more housewives? Always. Don't Always. come for the housewives, honey. Always come for the housewives. I love it. Well, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy the show. <laughs> oh.